Not much this week because we are gearing up for a big mamma jamma for the low carb cut starting next week. Work it, make it, do it, makes us harder, better, faster, stronger. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name's Nicole. If you are new, thanks so much for stopping by. I have a weekly grocery haul for y'all. It's pretty short and sweet. We went to Walmart. I ran into Whole Foods. We did an awesome Target deal. And as I'm recording this intro and outro, I'm still waiting on my Imperfect Foods order. So you may or may not see it. So let me take you down to the counter and show you what we got from all the stores for a little quick haul before we get to the big one. First stop, Target and Whole Foods, and this little amount was $23. I know, I know. And then we got Good Culture Cottage Cheese Wasted. This deal ends on the 15th, so when you're watching, guys, you can definitely still stock up on this deal. And I mentioned on my Instagram, so make sure you're following me to see everything in real time. So at Whole Foods, I need some pizza sauce when I do the cut and I was looking for a good one. The Rayo's pizza sauce has more calories and I think it had a little bit more fat or carbs. It had more something. So this one is by Mazetta and it was on sale at Whole Foods. So I went ahead and snagged it because I know I'll need it while I'm doing the cut. It's only 35 calories for a fourth of a cup, two grams of fat. It's got three and a half carbs, one fiber, and one protein. And if y'all look at the ingredients, are really, really good. Comparable, in my opinion, to the Rayos with some less calories. I'm here for it. So I picked that up to put away for one of my cut weeks. Their organic strawberries were on sale for a killer price with your Prime membership, and they looked beautiful. So I went ahead and picked up one of those just to have on hand instead of getting them from Imperfect. I probably will get another one from Imperfect because we're just going through them like crazy. And then something I probably shouldn't have gotten but it was on sale at Whole Foods, but their sale is still way more expensive than Target. So this exact same Applegate turkey bacon. I don't know if it's organic or not at Target. I'll have to check, but it really doesn't matter. But it is $3.99 at Target on sale. I think it was like $5 and some change. They charge you almost $8 for this little bitty package at Whole Foods. Whole paycheck craziness right there. I went ahead and got three of them. They were like $5 with the Prime membership and the sale because I'm gonna be eating a ton, and I mean a ton of turkey bacon on the low carb cut. And this one is really good as far as the ingredients. Not all turkey bacons are created equal, guys. If you look at the Oscar Mayer and some of the other ones at Walmart, they have corn syrup in them, so make sure to check. This one is legit, and the macros are great too for cutting. So I got three of those to put in the freezer for when I'm gonna need them. And my target is always out of the Applegate turkey bacon, and it's $3.99, like I said, but when I see it, I'm gonna go waste it on it because I know I'll be using it. Just like I did with this Good Culture. So that's everything I got at Whole Foods. This is what I got at Target. Now at Target, there is a cartwheel discount for 50% off all the little cups like this for the Good Culture. You can do four in a transaction, all right, only four. If you put any more in your cart than four, it will charge full price and not give you the 50% off, so you don't want that. So four in your transaction, and you can do up to six transactions per day with your cartwheel on your Target app on your phone. You can do the drive up with this, you can go in store, it doesn't matter. So I actually did the pickup with some of them because I knew they would be out of stock. I haven't seen the raspberry ever at my store and they finally got them back in stock, so I got wasted on them. And y'all, the ingredients on these are so so good. They sweeten everything with real fruit. I mean, it's so legit. 100 calories for this cup, three grams of fat, four net carbs, and 15 protein. You cannot go wrong with that. So that is going to be great for if you're just doing keto, guys. If you're doing high protein keto, if you're doing the low carb cut, just healthy in general, this stuff is awesome. Also got one of the pineapple ones. It is also comparable, the same exact macros as the raspberry one. I have a couple on hand, but they only had one in stock. And then I got the rest of what they had um, because this stuff always sells out at my Target. You can't, they can't keep it. This is a 2% one. And this is a little bit better than the 4% as far as the macros go calories and fat wise. Hopefully it tastes the same because I love that 4% one. So I got all these for 50% off. So for every three with tax, it was like three bucks. So with the 50% off, it made them like a dollar a cup, which is really, really good for this brand. So that's why I got so wasted. I will probably get more wasted on this. 
You guys get wasted up until the 15th. Check your app, put that cartwheel in there, do like I said, and you can get all of this goodness for cheap. We don't have to pay full price if we don't need to. Same thing with this. I'll be going back to Target and getting a better deal Next on the turkey. Stop in store, Walmart haul, $62. However, I got $6.50 back when using Ibotta, which is a cash back rebate app that I mentioned in every video. I have a link down below if you're new to Ibotta. It gets you $10 off for signing up. It's totally free and I've been using it for years and have gotten hundreds and hundreds of dollars from using it. I assure you, you're going to love it. It is awesome. So what did we get? So I got three of our happy eggs that we love so much. I mentioned in last week's video, guys, if you can't afford organic pasture raised eggs, it's okay. Just get conventional eggs because that, an egg is better than a donut. Okay. So that is what I always want to stress, like make better options, but don't freak out and don't let anybody make you feel bad if you're not choosing a like supreme version of something. Okay. But I just like the taste of these. If it wasn't for that, I would be buying the damn conventional eggs too because they're hella cheaper. However, these are the cheapest I have ever found for organic and pasture raised, and they are delicious. Got some of the Osiri snacking rounds. This is the cranberry and orange one. Trey brings two of these with a yogurt for breakfast every morning. He absolutely loves that flavor. It's his favorite. I got four avocados. Now I need to put these in the fridge. That's my hack because even though they look like they're ready to go, they will last for like two weeks in the fridge. It's crazy. And I don't want to get too many because I'm not going to be eating a ton of avocado when I do the cut. And that is coming up, y'all. I cannot wait to share that huge cut grocery haul with y'all. It is going to be so freaking bomb. Got some bananas for myself and for Waylon. I got them super green because we have a bunch left over from Sam's Club from last week's haul still that we need to go through. I got this. I wasn't going to get this, but I never see. It used to be the Man's Power Blend and then they switched to the Walmart brand. It's the same exact thing. It's Brussels sprouts, cabbage, broccoli, carrots, and kale blend. Love this stuff so much and I will be consuming this on the cut. So I just picked up a bag to eat this week or to have the next week because it lasts forever too and they're always sold out. I love this Argento Ultra Thin Cheese. I have it, I think, in Swiss and maybe just regular cheddar, but I got the Colby Jack. Each slice is 40 calories. I love that it's half the fat, half the calories from a original slice, but you're still getting that cheese fix, if that makes sense, without all the extra stuff, because we can add extra stuff in other ways, y'all. So I got this. I'm making my Alice Springs chicken out of my e-cookbook with over 70 keto-friendly recipes, but for the cut starts, that's one of our favorite chicken recipes. I only asked for a pound and a quarter, but she gave me a pound and a half, but I'm not mad about it. So next week I'll just get a little bit less. And this is the Land Lakes White American Cheese for Trey's Keto Queso. It's a bunch of it right there. They didn't have any at Whole Foods or what I got it there because it's always cheaper there. I also didn't need any more broccoli florets this week. However, sometimes they are totally wiped of this and they're just a buck and y'all know I'm obsessed and I will be consuming a lot of this, whether I'm doing the, the low carb cut, keto, whatever. This is one of my favorite veggies to go to. So I just wanted to put it in the freezer to have just in case next week for the low carb cut haul. They're out for some reason. You better not be girl. Got some hamburger dill pickle chips. I have the big pickles from Sam's Club and I've had them forever. And I looked at the label the other day and I was like, Nicole, what the actual hell? There's yellow number 40 in these. Like, how did you not see this girl? I don't know how I didn't see this, but all of the hamburger like dill pickles or whatever, they also have this other ingredient, which isn't the best, which is polysorbate 80. However, I don't like, this one doesn't have the yellow number, whatever, just FYI, this is a great value one. And I got the big mama jamma. I don't like those fresh pickles, like at Whole Foods and the like cooler section or whatever. Like I just can't stand the taste of it. I've tried y'all. I've tried. I just don't like them. All right. There's just some things I just can't be converted over to. We've, we've done a lot of converting over here. Pickles. I just like a damn regular pickle. Okay. So I got these because they are like, you know, zero everything really good for the cut and we're not going to eat a whole jar. So even though it's got <laughs> in one sitting, so even though it's got that ingredient, I think we're going to be okay. Everything in moderation. Got a box of the Kashi Go protein waffles. They're still a dollar and 50 cent. I bought a rebate for these. I think you could submit up to three to five times. Check your Ibotta app because it circulates. It'll go away for a couple weeks and it'll come back. And this is Trey's favorite. He loves the blueberry. They have a cinnamon one, a regular buttermilk, and this one, and this is his favorite. Now, Waylon was, the other weekend, he was like, Mom, I want some pancakes, and I didn't have any of the yummy spoonful pancakes. This is the apple and sweet potato one. I've mentioned in every grocery haul when I buy these that these are the cleanest, like, pre 
packaged pancake you're going to find. Don't get Eggo, any of that crap. It's a little bit pricier, but it's worth it. And the boys love it, specifically Waylon. He asked for them and I didn't have them. And he's his little heart has been broken the past couple of weeks. So while I was there, I got that for him because he doesn't like the waffles. Like struggle, boy, mom struggles real. Some non-food items I got was a container of the Equate mouthwash. That is for the hubby. He is totally out. And what is my life? Y'all did not even notice it nor remind me on that Sam's Club haul last month or last week for my monthly haul that I totally forgot to get the damn flushable wipes. I've been mentioning every week of the grocery haul. When I go to Sam's, I'm going to get the big box and I totally forgot. So that'll be in the low carb cut haul because I, I'm tired of buying these little packages. The boys are pooping and flying through these like the mom struggle again. This was the deal of the day. So they had this uh, like a month ago and I missed out on it. And y'all know this is my favorite toothpaste, the Colgate Max fresh with the brush strips, this clean mint one, the green one. I don't like the blue one. I love this one. And it's $5.92 at Walmart. And there was a $5 cash back rebate. So it made all three tubes 92 cents. So like 30 cents a tube without a freaking coupon. Um, yes, please. So I went ahead and got that because that was a score. Cause I think we're down to our last tube. Cause remember I paid full price for it last time. I mean, what is my life? Yes. I got $6 and 50 cents back from these two items right here. So I didn't think that was too bad for our little weekly run into 430 and my imperfect foods order just arrived that's super late for them they're super like early usually but it came nonetheless and everything looks good that's all that matters we got our usual four blackberries we always get those from imperfect so they're a great price way cheaper than walmart right now anywhere by me got some of the raspberries from there they're the driscoll's y'all know i love those and i only needed one instead of getting the two pack from sam's got some organic strawberries i'm glad they had them because they've been sold out and those look really good I didn't mean to put avocados in my cart, but I will take them all day, every day. Also put some Brussels sprouts in my cart because I really enjoyed them last week, just sauteing them up. They were delicious. And I just got one package for me to have at lunch probably. Got some tomatoes for the hubby for boneless burgers and for salads. Of course, I'm always getting mushroom wasted, so I got a package of those until I can get to Sam's. I did get a can of black beans. You might be thinking, what the heck, girl? I got these to add to wraps and stuff when we do the low carb cut, maybe on week three. And these look good ingredients and the macros look pretty decent. So I got a can just to have on hand in the pantry. And then I really like this organic Valley sour cream. It's delicious and you know, it's good ingredients and you can get it from imperfect ship to your door. So why not? So I got one of those. I won't be consuming a lot of sour cream on the cut, but the hubby will still be eating that. So that is everything we got from imperfect foods, short and sweet. So that's this week's grocery haul. Thanks so much for watching. If y'all enjoy grocery hauls, make sure to hit that like button and also make sure that your notification bell is clicked and you're subscribed because next week is going to be the huge low carb cut prep haul from Sam's Club, Walmart, Whole Foods, Imperfect, all the places so you don't want to miss it. Also make sure your notification bell is clicked because this Thursday, you're watching this on Wednesday, this Thursday, tomorrow, I'm going to have my meal plan macros printable Google Doc video for y'all that is going to lay out exactly what I'm going to be eating so you can get your game plan ready before the low carb cut starts on May 17th. Go and get your groceries because the grocery haul won't post until after the carb cut has started already. So that video will get you prepped and ready, give you an idea of what you need to go and buy at the grocery store this weekend for May 17th. Let's get ready. Let's go. So excited for so many of y'all to be on board on this cut with me. I cannot wait to see your progress and how you fare in this six weeks. And we're doing this together always. Thank y'all so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye y'all.